Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel Corruption. My name is Christopher and I also go by Corrupt and Corrupt Cosplay on multiple different forms of different social media. Today is an exciting video. Evolving Skies has finally been released and we definitely have some to open up today. I've ended up acquiring two booster boxes so in the next couple videos we're going to be going through those and also on my daily polls. So I'm pretty jazzed. Today I was literally watching a whole bunch of pack openings of this series. I'm filming this a little bit earlier in the week and honestly I'm super excited. I just watched Poke Revs and he opened up 12 booster boxes insane polls rates look pretty decent to be honest with you but like comparing against 12 boxes kind of hard to really gauge but at the same time like check out his videos because he ended up getting three i think it was three boxes that had insane misprints on them literally like a centimeter thick of misprints on like i think he pulled it was four cards, it was nuts. Honestly nuts and they were crazy good cards and I don't know, just the pure fire that was being pulled in those videos is insane. We are hoping to continue that trend and we're gonna start us off with a big set of pulls today. We have 16 packs that we're gonna be opening today and it's been a while since I've done quite a few packs in a video, so this is gonna be probably very exciting for me. Hopefully we can pull some really, really good cards. We're gonna start off with our Umbreon. Now, let's not like shy away from the fact that the artwork on these cards is, or on these packs is absolutely beautiful. I freaking love the art style that they've chosen for Evolving Skies, and I can't wait to actually start to pull some EV evolutions because I don't have any EV evolutions with the amount of cards or packs that I have currently already open too, so. All right, starting us off, Umbreon, here we go. You are not doing us well. The cards, the packs that I've been opening though, I've noticed just like rip right open, like butter, like nothing. And it's crazy that I'm trying to hide the code card, but when it just like tears right open with no ease or with ease, sorry, it's uh, kind of hard to hide it. Hey, I like that lit Leo and that's a reverse hollow. And then we got a whole lot of nothing right there. Okay, first pack wasn't the greatest, but we have a bunch to go through and I have pretty good hopes that we're gonna get something pretty sweet. Goal here is obviously we want some Rayquazas, but at the same time, I just wanna try and start to get some EV evolutions. And we're gonna open up a Sylveon pack right here. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to hide the code cards being difficult. And these two first packs are both green code cards. No amazing rares in this series, new artwork, however, which that is new. I think that is new. And drowsy, I think there's a couple of drowsies in this series. Okay, really liking the artwork so far. Reverse hollow and shift tree. Nothing crazy there. All right. But this pack, the pack art on this Rayquaza. Look how intense that looks. Freaking badass. Absolutely stunning. Love it. Those are the biggest hitters. Like, if we can pull one of those, that'd be pretty sweet. In any form, I'd be happy. All right, finally able to open up the pack without ruining it. Ruining the surprise. Let's hope it's worth it. Starting us off with Fire Energy, no Charizard opportunities in this series. And, however, there is a freaking, like, I'm pretty sure this is the largest set, Reverse Hollow, and boom, we got an Umbreon. All right, this is our first EV evolution that we got. Nice V card, absolutely beautiful looking Umbreon right here. Now, I'm pretty excited for this right now because I haven't gotten one yet, however, we are probably gonna be pulling a lot of these types of cards in this series. But at the same time, I will always take EV Evolutions. All right, probably the most underwhelming pack art out of all of them, but at the same time, still looks pretty cool. Just like the whole concept of, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but literally just a building. <laughs> that is the Pokemon. We're at the point of Pokemon where there's too many things, too many Pokemon out there that they have to just start creating 
specific objects into Pokemon now. It's like, oh, let's make food Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what you guys are doing. <laughs> All right, Wabafet. What can we get? Reverse Hollow Rare. Ooh, not C Dot and Ampharos. Ooh. We are definitely not killing it right now. Hopefully, this is gonna start to turn around. <laughs> oh no. Hiccups. Let's hope those don't stay around. Umbreon, let's make this pack. Oh no, <laughs> slid right out of my hand. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Man, these packs have got to be turning around any time soon. That's cute, I like that. Almost like he's licking off honey. Feebas. Ooh, there we go, reverse holo rare. What is this? Drampa? I don't even know it. That looks freaking wicked. I'm curious to know what you actually look like without this insanely awesome looking art style. And Flapple. All right, two dragons back to back. First reverse holo rare, and that was a non holo. All right, Sylveon. Let's do it. We have, I think the odds of three. There we go. White coat card. I think that's kind of like what's been happening is every third pack. Water energy. Hey. Now we need a, I can't remember his name. Salamance, I think. Reverse hollow and, oh man, the Reggie. Reggie, Reggie. Not quite what we wanted for a white coat card. However, we'll get some, we'll get some. Rayquaza, let's change the trend up a little bit. Let's make it a white, oh my goodness. I already saw it. <laughs> already saw it, why am I gonna hide it? This is gonna be very interesting if this is the way it goes. Artwork, loving it. Reverse Hollow and Talonflame. Now it's gonna be interesting. If this is a white co card, then it will throw off my theory here. But oh, there we go. Good. Start giving us white co cards. Just start giving us those. Can this be the biggest hit so far? Right now, Umbreon has got the plate. Play some beer pong. All right. Ooh, I see a little something there. What is it? Boom, no way! Our first alternate artwork. Oh man, no freaking way. That is incredible. Look at this beautiful card. Oh, and you can see all of the different Pokemon in the card too. Cloyster, we have got a whole bunch of other ones. Honestly, oh man, why do I, I'm like gapping on the names on half of these? But that is freaking gorgeous. We got a Sense of Scorch there, and yeah, definitely forget that guy's name, forget that guy's name, forget that guy's name. But yeah, anyway, this is a freaking dope looking card. Not an EV evolution, however, I will definitely take it. And you know what? For our first pack opening of this in our booster box, I'm definitely okay with getting an alternate art. No freaking way. Here we go, this is what I'm talking about. Centering isn't perfect, but we got one. We got one, boom. All right, now things are starting to get heated up. Like I was saying, it's pretty crazy. Some of the, some of these pull rates in these boxes have been pretty good. You usually get a little something in each one of them. Hopefully we got some really good ones in the boxes that I ended up getting. So far, so far we have. Oof. All right, all right, all right. What else can we get? What else can we get? Can we get? I don't even know what. I don't even know what. What, what else can we get? Rainbow, gold card. I will take any of those. Alternate artwork. Oh my god. Okay, all right, all right. Probably one of like the most underwhelming ones. However, I am still excited to freaking pull one. To be honest with you, just to get one, I'm happy. All right. Let's see what else we can pull today. Hopefully we can get an, ooh, this was not what I was 
think it's going to be just based off of the fact that I know it's already a green code card, but I thought I saw a little something. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, that wasn't anything. What's going on here? Break was the pack. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It is so hot in the room that I am in right now. I don't have AC in it, and I'm just like, it is so humid right now. <sighs> it's okay. We'll get through this. This box is just heating up. That's why it's so intense with the fire energy. And I see a little something back there too. Ooh, there's a new artwork too. Is that just a normal V? Is it a full art? EV evolution, that's what I like to see. Reverse all rare, okay, all right. And Rayquaza, nice. All right, here we go. We have got our first Rayquaza of this series and even though it's the V I am okay with that there's a lot of them there's like four or five different Rayquazas that we can pull very very nice Rayquaza V love that card and it actually looks very well centered as well good condition overall all right we're still pulling some really good packs here and hopefully we can still grab one or two just before we finish this up pull rates can be all over the place with any box that you end up getting this one isn't gonna be a great one Most of them were opening up so easily and then that one gave me trouble. <laughs> Code card. Good luck on your pulls or whoever gets that. And Psychic Energy. Ooh, there we go. I feel like that guy should have been a, a rare. You are, I love this card. It is literally Simba in the Lion King. Or oh, what was the, uh, the second one? There's like Scar's uh, cub, just because he has the darker fur, but I don't know. Hey, Reverse Holo Rare, Flapple, I will take that, and Sharpedo. Okay, we got another Reverse Holo Rare, which I am okay with that. I always do collect the Reverse Holo Rares in my collection. And I usually fill them out because I have a lot of horrible, horrible packs opening sometimes. <laughs> And they're filled with a whole bunch of reverse holo rares. All right. Umbreon, give me the goods. <clears throat> Steel Energy. Tentacruel. All right, all right. Feebass. Side duck duck. Like it, like it. Reverse holo and Raichu. All right, we got, I think that's our first holo of this series. And I honestly, I feel like there isn't, there's gotta be like a very little amount of hollows in this series. There's gotta be more full arts or V cards as well that kind of outweigh the hollows in it. I have to get, uh, I don't know, sometimes I look at the cards online, but I wanna get um, a booster, an elite trainer box, words, and that way I can take a look at the card list and see how many actual hollows are in this series because I haven't been getting a ton of them. I've already pulled those two that I did have already gotten, Golduck. I love Golduck's art design. Uh, but I don't know. Actually, you know what? I know the legendary birds are also in the reverse hollow. So, words, hollow slot. Wow, okay, pincer reverse hollow and Drampa. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna say that with confidence that I said that right. And uh, if I didn't, you don't know any better. <laughs> Alright, Rayquaza. Ooh, we're gonna save you for last. I feel like you're a last uh last pack magic kind of pull. Just feeling it for some reason. Alright. This dude hid the code card, that's what I like to see. And second last pack for today. Leaf energy. Ooh, got the nice mask, that dude. All right, all right, drowsy. Reverse holo rare and Ampharos. Okay, all right. Actually, that was not a reverse holo rare. That was just a regular reverse holo. Ampharos as well. And here we go, Rayquaza, last pack magic. You gotta do it. We have got an alternate artwork already, which is incredible. Hopefully, I'm gonna have to check the pricing on those and I don't know, oh. Couldn't have just hit yourself, eh? Because by the time I'm releasing the video, I don't think all of the pricing on these cards is gonna be up yet. However, 
I'll uh, see what might be out there so before uh, posting it. All right, reverse all the air and the pumpkin. Bum, 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 bum. All right, well that is it. That does it for today's video and I think we did all right. 16 packs in to the booster box. We're gonna be opening up the other packs in our next video and let's do a little recap of what we got today. So far we've gotten a couple hollows from the series. We got the Raichu, we've got the Electric Reggie and we have got Rayquaza V card added to the collection. Our first EV evolution of our collection and hopefully we're gonna be filling all of those out and I probably will at one point get them all. And not only that, we have got our Medichan. Medichan was the biggest hit today and we got an alternate artwork, which is freaking wicked. First booster box we have opened up and we have gotten an alternate artwork. This is freaking awesome. Not a secret rare, but hopefully in our next video we can add to that collection. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys are super excited for this series as well. Evolving Skies is gonna be nuts. A lot of incredible looking cards in the series and I'm excited to add to the collection. If you haven't done it yet, please do like and also subscribe to the video. And we are gonna be opening up some more Evolving Skies on our next video. And I can't wait to see you there. Have a good one.